In this tutorial, we will go over clones technology, the tools that are required for 3D scanning, and the best and worst materials to scan. Clone is a 3D scanning app based on photogrammetry. This process captures photos of an object at various angles and stitches them together to create a 360 degree view. Clone software processes these photos and creates a 3D model. To get started, you will need the following. A smartphone or tablet to download Clone. Apple products require iOS 9 or later, and Androids require an operating system of 7 or later. The free version of the Clone app is available on both the App Store and Google Play. You will also need to print the Clone scanning mat. This can be found directly through the app under the menu. Just tap the three dots and select Get Mat. You can also find the mat on Clone's website, clone.pro. If you don't have access to a printer, Shared Spaces has a limited number of scanning mats that we are happy to provide for free to artists in Saskatchewan. To request a mat, email us at sharedspaces.sk at usask.ca. Lastly, you will require an object for scanning. Some materials can be more difficult to scan than others. These difficult materials include high shine objects, transparent materials, objects with overlapping features or deep depressions, fuzzy or furry textures, black or very dark colored objects, perfect spheres, and miniature objects under one inch. These materials can still be scanned but will likely require some troubleshooting and post-scan editing. The best materials to scan include light or colorful objects, organic shapes, solid objects, and surface level details. Optional tools are tape, sticky tack, and extra lighting. Lighting is extremely important and determines the quality of information the scanner can collect. It's best to use even lighting with minimal shadows. Overhead indoor lighting should work fine as long as the lighting is even. Avoid direct lighting or spotlights. When weather permits, outdoor lighting on a cloudy overcast day is ideal. Both overly bright light and overly dim light may cause the scanner to miss information and distort the shape or color of your model. In the next tutorial, we will go over how to set up your scanning mat.